Yes, Saradush was destroyed completely. There were a few survivors who escaped, and they were when I came across them in the process of being hunted down by Yegashura's army. Thankfully, we were able to destroy that monster, and his army then dispersed. But the damage was already done by then. No, I am not my husband, Ajantis, where I feel that it was my responsibility to have saved all those people in Saradush. That is not my responsibility, nor will it affect my conscience. I did everything I could to help, and it was not me who attacked and killed everyone there. To accept responsibility for that act means that the evil people who did do it take no responsibility and are absolved of it because... because why? There is no reason for that. It was their decision to do it, not mine. They did it, and I have fought them at every turn. Only evil would attempt to seduce someone into taking responsibility for another's actions, especially when they did everything in their power to fight against it. If that were the case, then I would be guilty of Saravok, Kalar Argent, and Arenicus, as well as the actions of all the ball spawn. And I most certainly am not. I am the reason why they haven't rained ruin and destruction upon Faerun since I am the one that stopped them. I can only do what I am capable of. I am not a god, and I cannot affect changes across the land all at once. I am a champion of good, and I am doing all that I can to stop evil wherever I can. And that is why we have come to Watcher's Keep, to prevent the great evil that lives in the bowels of this place from escaping and running rampant out in a world that already struggles to survive. This devil or demon cannot be allowed out and it must be contained once again as it has been for so long. We are still here in Watcher's Keep, and we are exploring as we go. So we've gotten rid of a lot of the items that we didn't need. Some of it go back a long time. I think one of it was from Kaylar, when we were facing Kaylar Argent. I'm not sure how that's possible though. Because we lost yes. it. we lost everything, but it just seemed like it was, so maybe it wasn't. Nature could find a way if it were properly tired, cleansed and balanced. She's always tired. She's one of the first ones to get tired, I should say. We follow the righteous right. path. It it's says path it's clear. Of hell. To go. What's this? It is too dark to clearly make out the statue before me. However, looking at it leaves me with the feeling that we are being watched. Does that have two heads? Our oh, actions traps. are good and will serve the greater Well, the floor balance. hasn't been trapped, but a lot of the items that we can open up have been. History of the Imprisoned One. Dark. Uh, bullet. Let's see. History of the Imprisoned One. <clears throat> this particular work is obviously much newer than any of the other volumes contained within the Temple Library. History of the Imprisoned One. He also serves who stands and waits and watches carefully. Such is the lesson of the Great Guard, home of the unsleeping eyes. Let the events of this forgotten temple serve as an example to all who would follow the Vigilant One. Beneath this hallowed earth, the Avatar of the Watcher confronted great evil. Isn't that not Helm? A prince of the underplanes. Through steadfast perseverance, Helm, guardian of the gods, fulfilled his sacred duty and bound the creature in the bowels of the temple that it might walk the world no more. Speak not the beast's name, ye knights of the vigil, but guard this place, protect the wards which seal the imprisoned one within, and remain ever watchful. Never betray your trust, such is the will of Helm. Crimson Dart. It's got a good enchantment on it. The small size of this weapon belies its great power. Immediately after striking its target, this dart reappears, reappears in the hand of the wielder, ready to be hurled again. Oh, wow. So, are you saying... Let's see. I think we still have one. Yeah, this is the dart that... Okay. That we had given Rasad. We bought a whole bunch for him. But, if... <clears throat> if this dart has such a nice enchantment and always reappears, then... You probably carry this so you can fit there. Put in the wolf skin bag for now. It would be better for us then to use uh, save that one for Rasad. 
right you are. The books were trapped. A quiver? By the gods. Uh, oh no, this isn't a quiver. This is a case of plenty. The history of this magical case has been long forgotten. Though it likely had something to do with the inexplic inexplicable, but well documented shortage of competent Fletchers during the time of troubles. This is a bolt, too. It's not arrows. Well, you know what? It could be good for my brother, or even Jantus, but... Let's see. We'll get rid of this. He's got his bolt of plenty. All right, all right. What's this? A bell? This bell is rusted and tarnished. <clears throat> Excuse me. Though it still makes a sound when when rung. Interesting. I guess we'll hold on to that. Jant is going to hold on to that. Okay, well that's this room. Certainly. I guess we go back out to the main hall now. <clears throat> More of those statue-like things that look real. There's a lot of them. One, two, three, four... At least eight. I thought that there was more on the other side here. So perhaps ten, twelve. This helm. Oh, my legs are just <clears> aching. <throat> I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? Etchings on the dais portray a man in priestly robes chanting over an altar that holds a book, a bell, and a candle. Oh, okay. Uh, but. History of the Imprisoned One. I don't think that that's a book, a bell, and a candle. So we just need a candle, but perhaps we need a book? What a is proper it? proper book? I don't know. Without doubt. What's this? Holy book. Okay, the book is here. The tome in my hand contains passages numbered by chapter and verse, all in praise of a nameless, long-forgotten deity. There's a door over here. Oh! Oh, these are just mustard jellies. That's not part of the ecology book, is it? I don't think so. We've been facing mustard jellies since when we were dealing with my brother Saravok. Fish and slime and dense puddings. No, these are your old, old kind of normal jellies. They can still hurt you. Right? I think I'll try using it's acid. I don't have too many left. I don't really have too many. Let's see. Magical arrows. I'll do that. For the glory of Helm! Die! Die! With vengeance! Got you good. Quickly and precisely. Okay, we'll no just explore this room. Search for traps. You can count on me. Uh, bullets. Anything else here? No. Speak. Yes. Ooh, magical bullets. This way, then. Okay. It's locked. It's got a wand. Oh, these. This is one of those wands of the heavens. These are always very helpful. Well, let's give it to to here. Our actions are good, gotcha. and will serve the greater balance. The soot blackened stones of this ancient fireplace are evidence that it was once well used. The hearth is undamaged, and the fire could possibly be lit again if the proper tinderbox could be found. Okay. 
but there's... Oh! So we found a candle. That probably means we have everything. Good arrows. Who else has the good arrows? Love does. I won't do that for now. Really need that quiver. Really, really bad. Okay, so this kind of smells strongly of sandalwood. Without hesitation. A book, a bell, and a candle. Um. Okay, so before we even try anything with that, let's go in this room. Locked. Can you unlock? What do you want? Good to go. This magical lock will only open for a specific key. No amount of tinkering will help. Okay, well there goes that idea then. This place has a very eerie feeling to it. Traps on the floor, so they are long. traps on the floor. Just like old times. <clears throat> well, except for the torture and all. Rainbow obsidian necklace? Old slippers. Old slippers. It is a miracle that this moldy, misshapen footwear has not already dissolved into a pile of rancid dust. Provides cold resistance. Hey, let's give this to a John. Let's try to make some room here. Fireplace. Everything's trapped. At least she's detecting that. Another quiver. Quiver of plenty. One often repeated, though never substantiated. Legend holds that the quiver was once given as a gift to Duke Orin Castle Kate. <laughs> Is that like a play on Castle Gate? Castle Kate. All right. Orin cared little for politics and the day-to-day -day duties of his fiefdom, and would often vanish for weeks at a time into the thick forest that covered much of his land where he would live the life of a solitary hunter. But try as he might, Orin was never able to learn the fine art of fletching, and eventually he would be forced to return to his castle when his arrows ran out. And each time he returned, he would be inundated with the various nobles and merchants and their petty problems, which demanded his attention. If the stories can be believed, Orin was eventually approached by an unscrupulous merchant who offered him a gift in exchange for the title to all the lands Orin ruled over, the question mark, a quiver that would produce an infinite amount of magical arrows. Orin quickly agreed to the deal, figuring his problems were forever solved. Of course, the merchant quickly established himself as a cruel and insufferable tyrant, and within a month, Orin's subjects had deposed their new ruler, drag Orin from his beloved forest and imprison him in his own castle? The question mark there, that's weird. Forcing him to be their lord once more. To ensure he never escaped to the woods again, Orin's precious quiver was forever hidden away and mere mention of it became an offense punishable by death. Unlimited minor magical arrows, though. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, definitely going to use that. That kind of negates all the minor magical arrows I have. I don't have that many. I've got three stacks, almost three full stacks of them. Try to use up the non-magical arrows first. Gotcha. That's perfect for me. Although I still want that magic quiver to hold all the other arrows. Another scribbled note, a push of superior healing. I'll give this to my love. This note is written in trembling, in a trembling, shaky hand. The winter chill of the holy place, this holy place, seeps into the very marrow of my bones. Alas, I have misplaced the tinder box for the hearth, and without it, I am unable to light the kitchen fires. The blizzard does not abate, and I fear I feel the cold touch of the grave upon my heart. People actually lived here. I bet you, uh, priests of Helm, at some point, they were living here. That is actually kind of strange, considering how horrible I feel, the feeling I get from this place. And considering that they had the imprisoned one here, that's what they built this place, was it not? So, okay. And I take it's a very powerful demon or devil. I'm pretty sure it's not a god. 
Oh, here's a tinderbox. It was locked. And an ammo belt. This shoulder belt is ideally suited for holding sling bullets, starts, arrows, or bolts. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, let's fill it up. Let's make room. Everything's fitting in there. Wow, it's holding all of it. Let's see, <laughs> give it all to me. I will take all of the, the arrows, the bolts. Oh, we don't really need too many bolts. Jantus and um, my brother would rarely, if ever, use them. Okay, there's lots of these things. Uh, <clears throat> bullets. Good, nice enchanted bullets. And she has uh, light modern enchanted bullets. I guess you could call them. And then there's the really nice one. Very powerfully enchanted bullets. But she's got a lot. I mean, that's enough for like forever you now. Just hold on to that, just in case. Just when these, these ones run out, you can use those. Or when we attack a specific tough enemy. And tinderbox. The long handle attached to this flint and tinderbox leads me to believe it was specifically designed for lighting stoves, ovens, or hearth fireplaces. Let's put it all in there. These magically enhanced, enhanced ammo belts can hold, I was told, up to a couple thousand. Which means that we're pretty much well set. I mean, it, Jahira has a lot of them too. We'll just clean all this up. Okay, so we still have some that wouldn't fit in there. There's a lot in here. 300 minor enchantment arrows, 104 modern enchanted arrows. Enough. Enough. Enough for my uses. If it must Pretty sure be done. for the rest of being going through Name. this place. Good to go. What's that? Oh, giant spider. It will be done. <laughs> More of them. Lots of spiders. Oh, this is gonna hurt you a lot more than me. Agentus, you have your shield. Uh oh. They're resisted, but there was a trap on the floor. Right you are. And no one was hurt. It was like another library. This a wart stone? What is that? This stone looks as if it has been split in half. <clears throat> there is an inscription on it. Two towers to ever guard the tomb, two wards to now enter the room. Would that mean that we have to find the other half of the ward to enter that locked room? Another healing potion. Certainly. Nature, Here, it is going? done. Can't you just open the door? I am listening. Unlike the other rooms, there appear to be no monsters in here. The runes inscribed on the floor and walls just inside the door to this room are similar to those of the main entrance to the temple. All right, all right. Any traps? Oh, here's the other half of the ward stone. Healing potion. Small shield that's enchanted. Okay, so this is the other half. Uh, there's a picture of a golem on it? What? It's just an inscription on this one. Small shield. We don't need that. No problem at all. Tattered parchment. Oh, no. 
This fragment of an ancient and tattered scroll is inscribed with ornate calligraphy, which reads, Place the book, bell, and candle upon the altar. Well, this must be the first one, then. Celebrate the holy name, forever praised and renowned. Summon the faithful, gather at the altar, witness his glory and triumph. Ring the sacred bell. As it is written, the ritual has begun. Another one of those things, huh? Okay. It will be done. And if you don't do it in the right order, something bad happens, right? You will fall with by my vengeance! Hands. You can count on me. A key. Another history of Tether. A key. This key is particularly inter particularly intricate and ornate in its design. Okay, I was giving these to Ari, so she has the three parchments. This way, then. Uh, give this to him. Give that to him. Another handwritten note. Uh, nonsensical babbling. Tough guy, tough guy. Long red circle is tough guy now. L-T-M. Didn't wouldn't the other one say lum? Gotcha. Yes? Seems to me that this should Certainly. connect to the main entrance. Maybe it does. Without look doubt. For a secret door. This was someone's bedroom. They lived here, these priests of hell. I, for one, find that very, very strange. I guess they're here to guard against the imprisoned one. Or guard to act as warden against the imprisoned one. Alright, so there's eight on the other side, and there's four here. So if they activate, there will be 12 of them. It's quite a lot. Okay, this is opened. just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. I guess we don't need this ward stone anymore. We'll wait till Quickly and we're precisely. able to access another floor. Ooh. These are activated, but they're not attacking us. Without hesitation. They, they don't res respond to me. Good to go. There's something here this handwritten note Shh, calm before the storm medium green triangle gets storm in hand I have no idea what that means LTM just like old times well except for the torture this will not take long okay there is an inscription on the sarcophagus here lies our faithful servant despite a somewhat suspect memory this in his later years he served with duty and honor if you wanted to, I could move the heavy lid and peer inside the sarcophagus. Uh, what is it? These golems might if activate. If it must be done. So As you somebody will. please be here I to fear intercept nothing. them. I am willing. All right. Speed will be done. I'll open it. I push the heavy lid aside, but before I can inspect the contents, there is an angry roar. I sense I have. You should not have come to this place. That looks like a lich. I don't know if it is, though. For a thousand years I slept in peace, forgotten by the world beyond these temple walls. Now you dare disturb my eternal rest? Oh, I see you have brought my slippers. How thoughtful. May I have them? Okay, take. Sure, take the slippers. I apologize for my undeserved reaction. I will take my slippers and let you finish your work here. Look through the sarcophagus if you wish. Wow, okay, well that ended all right. Inside the the sarcophagus lie the remains of the old priest's possessions. Woven into the sleeve of his ceremonial robe is the following Holy Ritual Chapter 12, verse uh, 14. I make a mental note of it. I have made a note of the verses of the Holy Book should I need to perform the ritual. And there's something else there? Okay, it seems that Aerie has gained in skill. I 
How about an extra... Extra six level spell. What is this Aura of Flaming Death? Huh. Uh, creates a fl uh, aura of intense flame that enters opponents and protects the caster from damage. It grants a really high fire resistance. Implosion. Elemental summoning. Aura of Flaming Death. Well, there's other ones here. What about these ones down here? I think Aerie's too low of a level to use these. These are mages spells, are they not? Alright, so she has additional priest spells and mage spells. <sighs> Monster summoning. Secret word, remove curse. Monster summoning. Again, as an oracle. Hold monster is a very powerful spell. Improved haste. There's pierced magic. True sight. She does not have that. And she has disintegrate death fog. Limited wish. What kind of sword? That could help. So these are wizard spells. So she has a lot of spells here too. The pierce shield. Okay, so priest spells. Lots of them. So she also has slow poison. Visibility Purge doesn't even have that. That could help. Protection 2 protection from evil. Negative plane protection. Cure serious wounds. Kyoto commands. She has uh, she has a true seeing. Another mass cure. Group healing. Animal, animal Summoning 3. There. It's gone over all of our spells. Well, that's Certainly. it for this area. So the only thing is to do the ritual now. But, oh, we have to go and light the fires, do we not? the tinderbox. Let's do this. Once lit with the tinderbox, the fireplace crackles with dancing flames, which this provide a cheery glow to the kitchen. Darn creepy. And the entire I room really is warmed by the heat from the lively blaze. Oh, a spirit just appeared. Ah, few things in life are as fine as the simple pleasure of a warm fire. Who are you? I am Giltham, the temple archivist. I look after things around here, mostly maintaining the library and waking the old priests for services, but I was not expecting visitors. You don't know you're dead, do you? It seems as if the outside world has abandoned us. It is just myself and the old priest here now, wandering amongst the dusty archives. Can you tell me anything about the old priest? There is little to tell. A good man, though he has become forgetful in his old age. Perhaps you should speak with him. His chambers are near the northeast corner of the temple. Approach him with caution. He has developed quite the temper. When I wake him up in the morning, the only way to calm him down is to have his favorite slippers ready and waiting. Well, we learned that the hard way, but we didn't have to fight with them. Okay, uh, what about the dungeon below the temple? Do you know how to get in? To open the gate, you must first perform the ritual, but only the brave or foolish venture beneath, for there are dark secrets buried under this temple. Hmm. Thanks for the advice, but I can't stay to talk anymore. I need to get going. I would offer to give you a tour of the library, but it is so nice and warm by this fire. I hope you understand if I prefer to stay right here. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm not sure... Yeah, we don't really... 
We don't need the ward stones anymore. We'll have to get rid of those once we open a way to the next floor. Alright, so I can see a problem here. If we're all here with our backs exposed... You know what? Do I have... Aim... Sunray... M1, you have haste. You have, uh... Yeah, improved haste. Gotcha. Please go and do the ritual. Here's... You have... Here, we'll help you. Actually, I can't. You can't because... The Jantus has the pieces. And the book is already there. And she is overburdened, which happens quite easily. There. Uh, there. Good to go. Before you open it, or before you try to do the ritual, My yourself, of Helms. we will be ready in here. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a feeling all those statues are it going will to be done. Faster than Chick Tika fast pause. Let's do this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.